Hello and welcome. Back on the rocks again. There's nothing like chucking a big bait into an angry sea and tonight is no exception. I'm on the rocks, another neat tide, I'm back on the mark where a couple of weeks ago I lost that big eel. Let's see what we can do. I've already got two rods out and I've lost both sets of gear. I've been snagged by fish both time. So we should keep on plugging away and see what we can get. It's Sunday night, it's a neat tide, like I think I just said. On the back end of Storm Babette, I think his name was this time. So I've got about a two metre swell rolling in, smacking into the rocks in front of me. I'm up nice and high, I'm up nice and safe. Getting a big fish in could be a bit of a game, but I've got the drop net, I've got my long gaff. Let's see what we can see. Right, onwards. I'm going to get baited up with another half a joey uh, on one rod, and I've got an anchovy for the other rod. So let's see what we can do. So, forecast in. Three lock sets again, so I'm doing not very well on the gear front. The swell is big. I'm getting plenty of bites. Bite now my left hand rod, bait with half a mackerel. Right, I missed a cracking fish just now. What didn't miss it? I lost a cracking fish just now. I spat the bait on the way in. Typical sort of hussy bite, lots of pools, like a giant dogfish. And they were now spitting on the way in. So, hey ho, where there's one, there should be more. My rig's all tangled up. What a hound eating you coil them, they always seem to tangle up the wriggle at the moment. Anyway, right, back at it. I lost that one on a half a mackerel. Found as far as I could with 4 catfish in it. Rigs are very simple. Rotten bottom link to an imp, 150 pound line. Big swivel, cut the beads. And at the business end of a 4 0 mustard catfish. Got a couple of beads above it, trapped by another crimp to act as something for me to whip the bait around to keep it nice and secure. That's what I hooked the last fish on, that's what I hooked the monster on last week, or the week before even, so let's keep going and see if we can get him or her. Both rods are getting a few taps and pulls now. That's annoying. Well, when they used to come congregating down here, it was one bite a night, maybe two. That's like, every time you cast out, you're getting a fish on. They're snagging you every time, so it ain't very big. It's getting a bit painful. Right, it's starting to get a bit tiring. I'm now onto double figures of lost gear. By lost gear, I don't just mean a lead. Everything from the leader down has gone ten times. But the chance of one of them whoppers makes it worthwhile. Because it's weird, because last time I was down here, I only lost four sets of gear, mostly in that snag. Tonight, after the storm we've had through, like every snag on Portland is here. Every snag is here. But I shall keep trying. All right now. Eight pound leader. 25 pound Robex 10X mainline. It's fresh on this morning. This reel needs reloading already because it's lost so many bits. But we'll keep going. We will keep going. 
not a lot for me to say really. A bit windy, I was afraid of the noise. Sorry about that. The moon's disappearing over there behind the clouds. A bit of rain heading my way in a bit. If that starts I'll be off. Can't stand fishing in the rain. I reckon I've got another hour out of it at least before that gets here. Never know, we might bag ourselves something yet. Keep flogging away. Doing what we do. It's a bit rough down here this evening. That's calmed down a smidge. Edge. Down there. Can't really see it, my light's not that bright. It is pretty rough. Big old groundswell running because of that storm out in the channel. Hello. So, that is a bike. Gotta go. Well, we missed that one, but never mind. This one of those moments she thinks of, but why don't I fish with a panel rig? And you wind it in, it's more the top of the bait. The reason I don't fish with a pedal rig is because the ground here is so rough I'd lose even more gear if I had two hooks out there and have one. I sometimes think about having a small flyer at the top, like a 4.0 maybe, like a 4.0 octopus, which I've got some tied up like that, which I might go out with another day, but tonight the loss has been so much I'm sticking with the singles. And it is what it is. Onwards. They're here. That's one I'm using for bait tonight. No messing around, half a Joey mackerel. 4-0 Mustang catfish. Hook nice and proud. It's at the head end, snuck his nose off this time, let a bit more scent out. Maybe he'll take the bottom of the bait instead of the top and cut out. Still not going to go for a pedal. Not tonight, it's just too snaggy. Right on, guys, a nice little bite just now. Quite a big bite. Got ourselves a little hut. Five, six pound. Beautiful dark, dark fish. Try and get me out. There he is. Right, the last casts are out. Sorry about the wind noise, the wind has picked up. I think it's about the rain. As you can see from the rods, the tide has picked up. A nice old hoop in the tip. I'm actually jammed under a rock down this end. bring you back if I catch a fish on one of these but if I don't thank you very much for watching I'll join you in the next one we'll be back on the rocks might be on chisel I'm out of love with chisel at the moment but we'll see what happens thank you for watching bye bye right then guys last gas saloon has come into it there's a proper reel I reckon he's in the 20 pound mark, but 15 to 20, and get the scales out and weigh him. Right. The rig is ruined, so we tie a loop in the line. about six foot long. He is. Oh, I was making a thought. He is. 13 pound 12 ounces. Well she is, whoever it is. Try and pick him up, get a decent photo. I literally thought I stuck in a snag till it started moving then. Right, let's get him on hook. Right. 
Right, last gas to loon and a half, that was. 13 pound 12. Have a nice winter conger eel. Right, I'm out of bait, I'm out of time, I'm out of town. See you on the next one, guys.